All right, this is going to be a quick haul, but I wanted to share it anyways because I wanted to get um, some videos out. I'm going to try to go at the same speed, about four, a video every four days released at um, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time Zone, but we'll see how fast that can go. Anyways, all right, I went to two stores, but one of the stores twice because I was in the, like, the area it was, but um, this, is, this is a Lululemon, just size six. Uh, shirt this fabric where it's kind of like like that I don't know it's called silver e scent it's silver and then an e and then scent I'm not sure if that's how it's necessarily pronounced but um it's kind of like similar to like how the Lululemon gives their own own fabric like Luan they have a different type of fabrics that they trademark and silver e scent is one of them this was two ninety nine so I thought it was a good price the look is there and it is in like next new condition. Right, also from there, I saw like this uh, collar. So if you know what that is, then you might know that that is smart wool. It did rub off a little bit, but it had the size, which is nice. I'd rather have the size than the brand name. Because um, I can always like look for or something, but I knew what it was. Um, it says just the merino wool base layer shirts. Then there is the logo, which I love to see. Smart World doesn't sell as well as it used to, at least for me, but I do still get excited to find it and I will pick it up. I'll probably get $35 for this one. The Lululemon shirt, probably $30. All right, and then I only found four things at that store and I was there for a while, so it wasn't the best, but I have found good stuff at the store before, but I don't go to it that often. It's about 30 minutes from my house, but sometimes I'm in the area, so I will stop by. All right, I saw that and I just saw the pattern and I didn't even check for the logo. I knew what it was already. And this was also $2.99, and it's like a striped, uh, just that long sleeve uh, shirt, and it has like the cuffins, I think. No, it just, wait, that's interesting, I've never really seen that before. Because it has like a textured on the outside, but it's not like a pocket. Interesting, anyways, it has, oh, okay, there we go, I think. Yeah, so I think you can roll it over. And then it, per oh yeah, then it makes it into like a little mitten. So if you get that cold, but it is a Lululemon and for $3, like, okay, I'm not leaving like a style like this from Lululemon behind, but, um, even though it is an older style, these styles still those sells well for me, probably around 25 to 30, probably let's set out like 38 and it's a size six as well, but Right. The last thing I found, actually the first thing I found is a pair of shoes. These are Sorrel's. This style from Sorrel does well for me. I do pass on Sorrel and I do find it pretty often, but I pass on it pretty regularly. But this style I will pick up. This is like the out and about boot. That's what they look like. They were priced at $5.04. So good price. Um, they actually have the mark that is kids shoes, if you can see like there. So that's nice, but they're not kids. They're women's size um eight and a half which is a really that's like a great size like my i think best selling size honestly eight and a half nine eight to nine is like probably my best but this is like a like a leather back and then i think this is felt maybe wool and then shearling lined so i was happy about those and i had a 10 percent off coupon everything was full price though all right then at the next door i got these pair of sorrels these were on a new car cart which I really haven't found anything on a new, like, amazing on a new cart in a long time. Like, a lot of, or, like, new rack, new cart. Um, but, I mean, I do find, like, I find, like, good stuff, but nothing, like, oh my gosh, like, amazing. So, it's been a little bit rough on the, even, like, good stuff. I haven't found that many good stuff. Like, yeah. Um, this is Sorrel, but these, I guess, were good. Uh, these are, I can't remember the style on these. But the only issue with this is, like, the lacing has, like, I don't know, so I might get like $30 for these because of that, but um, we are going into the season for these. These were $6.04, but since this bottom was kind of hard to, I guess, comes up easily, they had to staple it down. So, but it should be, I don't think it should be a mark really. So $6.04, 10% off, and there we go. They're not, nothing, I don't, I don't have to like know anything about that because no flaws, these are size nine, so different stores, two pairs of Sorrel's. 
That is a pretty well-known brand in our area too, but one good to both store marks them up sometimes and then most of them don't. All right, this, I needed stuff to like list kind of. I thought I did, but I really didn't. So now I have it. It is what it is. Three people, size small. I've sold this top before in a different print. It's called the Wildflower like Honey Top or something, but it did pretty well. I do like it. It has like sheer accents and yeah, so I think the style's cute and the pattern's fun. So probably 25, 20 to 25 if I'm lucky. But the last one sold for like 33 and it was like in a, I think a, a little bit cuter of a print than that and it was a size medium. All right, and then this is a oversized sweater. It does have some pilling to it. I tried to sweater. I was starting to sweater shave it and then I just gave up because that's what happens sometimes. Um, Three people, size small. It's a turtleneck. And it comes out to like a slight puff sleeve, but not really. So it's a size small. It, it is their oversized sweaters, which sometimes do well for me, but I have some, I have had some sit for a while. But if there, there's one style of a free people sweater that has done really well for me, it's called like the Ottoman tunic. And that sold, that sold like for over $60. And that is a style I would pick up again. But I'm not sure how this would do. I don't think this is the Ottoman tunic. Um, that was like a little bit different than this, but I still think it should sell. Okay, and the last Ottoman tunic was size large. So sizing in free people, even though it is oversized, even though like the larger sizes still sell better. They just, they just do. I was excited to see this brand because I haven't found it in a while. And um, it's called Gun Gundren Stro Shojin. I'm not, yeah, I'm butchering that name, but that's the tag. So if you see that, that is a good brand. So I, uh, this is my first time in over a year coming across it. This is my third time finding it, but I found two pairs of pants. So it's just like, this also is like a slight puff sleeve. It's a printed top. Um, the last pair of pants have both sold for over $50 and this was priced at $2.99. So I was fine with paying that. It, um, it feels like a Pima cotton blend. So let's check the fabrics, fabric tag also has like this fabric tag when it has like the name which is like also sound of quality um it's 100 percent live cell which i would not have guessed it does feel like a pima cotton like spandex blend or maybe not spandex but pima cotton blend but it's not um it says extra large great sales i'll probably list this at 50 dollars. but honestly this brand is better for me than like johnny was or something so i'd rather find that than johnny was that's like some of you probably just like are shocked about that but like it's true all right this goodwill had literally five new clothing racks out so i was so excited and i found two things on them so it was actually like a little bit disappointing but um this is like a bra from the brand third love it's called the classic contour plunge bra size 36 e so i really don't pick up bras because i don't check the bra section but this was on a new rack and had my mom not been with me this day, I literally probably would have left it just cause like, yeah, but she was there and she checked out with me, so it was fine. I will sell it. Um, it wasn't marked up or anything cause they didn't have, but again, not my favorite to sell, um, but it's okay. I will still sell them. This was $3.14, which is a little bit more, I feel like that's kind of expensive. So maybe I should have left it, but it has like mesh and like, I don't really know. So, but I got it. And this was the other thing I found on the new rack. So, uh, here, I saw this and I got pretty, very excited, but it is quite faded, but it does say, uh, Lululemon Athletica. It is a size 10, which is a great size. So, so would you rip this tag out or leave it in? Because I don't want somebody, because this jacket is not in bad condition, but the tag is very faded. Um, but I don't know if that's gonna like deter someone cause they're gonna see and like, oh, that's really worn, but it's really not. So I might rip it out, but I might keep it in. Anyways, it's this jacket. I rarely find the lemon jackets in my area. So I was pretty excited. And I was hoping there might be more on the rack, but there wasn't. So there's the logo. And then it is an, definitely not the newest style of jacket, but the jackets still sell for me. Sometimes they, I've had a few take a while to sell, but then I've had some, a few sell fast, even if they were older styles. So uh, I just sold one yesterday that had been sitting for like almost a year. So, but I don't love paying up for them anymore. 
uh, I honestly haven't, like, I used to pay up for Lululemon a lot more than I do now, because if, so that garage store, I found over the 50 Lululemon items, if I w went to that sale today, and, um, I'm not sure if I would have paid $15 for anything there, except a few of the jackets, but ended up being okay, because I still made a great profit, like, probably, but, but there's some things that just, and I would have paid $15 for the Tory Burches, like, even today, but there's some stuff that I probably would not have gone, gotten again, but now I know. I've gotten a lot better at Lululemon. It is my best-selling brand, and I find it pretty frequently, but usually it's, like, the stuff that I found the most is, like, their leggings, for sure. So I like to find their shorts, and, like, their jackets do the best for me, um, and skorts, but everything else, and their sports bras, when I do find them, or, like, when my family member finds them, those do well for me. Um, they don't sell for time, but they don't, yeah. Okay, this is a bolo band, bolo brand. This is called Claire V, and then it's made in Los Angeles, um, and it's like this tie-dye-ish printed uh, sweatshirt, and it has like ruffle sleeves. So that's what it looks like on. So these, I don't know. Every time I see ruffle, like this ruffles like on the shoulders, it's like the. Um, it gives me, like, Ula Johnson vibes, because I think it's because, like, the dress that I found had, like, ruffles on the, like, the ne around the neck and the sleeve, or, like, the shoulders, so I think that's why, but this is not, I feel like this would sell better than Ula Johnson. Um, this brand is, like, known for, like, bags, so if you find a bag by Claire B, that, or, like, wallet or something, that is probably gonna sell a lot better, but I'm still gonna list this for, I think, 100 to 125 dollars maybe 135 but the comps on this brand are good. I could not find any of this sweatshirt listed online. I did find the style of it, but it's a size medium made in Los Angeles, California. So I paid five dollars for this. Um, I was very happy. I posted on Instagram and that should do well. So I was very excited to find a new brand and yeah. All right. Honestly. Okay. So this stuff I'm about to show you all came from, okay. So I found four things that day and I'm trying to think yeah, I found four things that I'm about to show you. So, um, actually, I found this, like, before that. So, I thought it was... I saw this on tank top section, and I almost died. I thought it was a Rick Owens, and I was like, oh my gosh, no way. I just found Rick Owens. Yeah, there is no way, because it was not Rick Owens. It's called... But it's a Dika brand. It's Enza Costa, which, actually, I don't even know if I found that brand before. But if you see a tag like this in cursive that, like, might look similar, it might be Rick Owens. So, definitely look up the Rick Owens tag. I will probably insert a picture. I probably have done that by now, but um, it's a ribbed tank top. And it's definitely, like, unfortunately, the size and material is cut out, but it looks like a size small. It feels like a modal blend. It's very soft, but I wanted to try it out. It was two ninety nine, so I'll probably list this, I don't know, like 25 But some, like, the dresses in that brand can do really well. But, like, all this stuff is, like, I feel like a lot of the items from this brand were like rib like this ribbed knit and then like minimal colors like black beige tan all right then i found these i found these pair of burberry size 10 just olive green like trousers i feel like this is a good color for fall i do like the color green this is not my favorite shade of green but i it's okay it's more of like a brown green than like a green green but they are 100 percent wool so this is vintage Burberry when it has like the S, that doesn't mean it's fake. So I don't know. So I got them. They're six dollars and eight cents. I have my ten percent off, like I was saying. Alright, I found these on a new rack. And had they been pre-owned, I would have passed, but they are new with tags, seven from one kind. They're size twenty eight. They retail for $195, but they probably went on sale or something. I was shocked that Goodwill didn't mark these up, but they did not they did not. Some are from one kind. They are a button fly, high waisted velvet cigarette skinny jean or pant. Um, the style is called the high waist ankle skinny, size 28. Um, so the comp, I'll probably, well, okay, so here's my thing. The comps for this, the summer comps weren't the best for this, but since we are going to the season, like if we were going into summer, I might list them at $50, but since we're going into winter, I might list them at 65 but at the same time, like, this brand doesn't all do all that well for me. But they are new tags. They're a size 28, which is a decent size. So, I don't know. Would you list these at $50 or 65 
I guess what I can do is list them at 65. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to list them at 65. And if they don't sell, then I can always mark them down. But I like to try to move things out faster than I usually would. I'm like having like a new model where I'm like not countering as much. I am still countering, but like I'm trying to accept more offers than I usually would and just like not get a counter over $5. Like I feel like, okay, yeah. Like, especially like if it's over $50, I mean like there, okay, there is one thing I will agree on like countering, even though it's like a lower amount, countering like $15 into $20 is like, I feel like different. I'm more likely to counter, like, for whatever reason, even though it's, like, a lower amount of money, I'm more, if somebody offers me $15 on something that's something, on something that's listed for 28 I'm more likely to counter the 20 but if somebody asks, or if somebody offers me, like, $50 for something I have it listed at 75 I'm more likely to accept. I don't know, that's kind of, like, I'm just accepting more than I have been, but and I'm trying to, like, really price, like, not astronomically but i still overpriced stuff so but i under i mean i really haven't i feel like i overpriced more than i underpriced in my opinion so i don't know i'm trying to get better but yeah i really need to by the time this video goes out i'll be in school and i i'm I don't, i'm honestly not sure what i'm gonna do when i'm gonna be in school i mean I, i've never really had a plan when i go from summer to school and I think I'm just going to try to keep listing as much as I usually would during the summer. So it means, like, not as much free time. So I'll definitely, like, need, like, free time and stuff. But, yeah, I might just not be able to have as much as I normally would during the school year. But I'm also not taking as much classes that I normally would. I have double early release. So that's pretty nice. All right. This, I had never heard of the brand before. But it's M-U-U-B-A Mamba. And it's like this gray. This is called gray. It was called something gray. So it looks blue to me, but it is gray. Granite gray. And it's like this lamb leather quilted motorcycle jacket. So this was priced in the women's tops and not as a jacket, which really was interesting to me. It is quilted and that has quilted and then ribbed uh, panels to provide stretch. So... I looked it up because of this chain detail. I touched the chain and it felt really like high quality. Like, I don't know. There was just something like I saw a pair of Fashion Nova jeans and I touched the, the chain and it felt cheap. But this chain feels really nice. So I looked it up. Um, this chain cost extra money to put on. Uh, it had like a whole bunch of sizing in UK, US, EU sizing, which doesn't always mean anything. But I went to the zippers, they said YKK, and then I looked at the tag and it said it mumbo there, and then I flipped it over, and then it said, well, the sizing on the care tag was in the European sizing, or something sizing, and then I flipped it over and it said 100% lamb leather, and then so I looked it up, and I was like, the comps were really good. I was like, I just really wasn't expecting them to be that good. I listed this for $125. And when I was listing, I actually came across Heather the Canary Closet. She had a listing for this. And she had hers listed at, like, I want to say, like, 135 to 150 Which, for, like, Heather, honestly, out of anybody, out of, like, a lot of people that I watch, I feel like Heather and Frances Kleinsmith. Frances hasn't uploaded a YouTube video in a long time. But if she's seeing this... Please upload a video because I do miss her hauls. And, um, anyways, but, wait, what's it, what was it talking about Francis Klein? Oh, yeah, Heather and Francis Kleinsmith, that any people that I've watched, they price their items the lowest and, like, super reasonable. So, you guys can, if you guys, like, look at their Poshmark closets, you guys can get, like, a great deal on their items. So, yeah. So, for Heather to price this at, like, $150 was very surprising to me because, she, I mean, not to say that she had it overpriced at all, because the comps on that brand are very strong, but that is a good sign. So, yeah, I would price mine at 125 and we'll just see how it does. It's the right season for that, and yeah, so the, the four things that I found on this day were one, two, three, and four, and I found these three things first, and I just kind of was like, honestly, like, I was uninspired by them at the time. And I pulled out a Siri and I, I said, like, flip a coin if I should stay or should I leave. I, like, almost never do that. But honestly, I, just, I I had gotten a haircut 
and I was in there for five hours because I, I got my hair permed and all this stuff for school. And I was hungry and just tired and I was just so ready to just go home and eat. But I just, I don't know, before I found this, I asked Siri, I go flip a coin and I go, and I'm like, okay, if it's heads, I'm staying. It was heads. And then five minutes later, I found this. So that made it all worth it. And then after I found this, I just eventually decided to just buy this stuff. But like, I'm actually happy about this. And like Burberry pants, I can probably get $30 for these. And then we'll just have to see how these do. But yeah, I'm even though it's a shorter haul, I'm still happy with how I did. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your um, favorite item. Leave a like, subscribe, and I hope you guys have a great week or weekend, whatever, whenever this comes out.